video, I'm going to add to my slow motion playlist as well as my crochet for knitters playlist. I will demonstrate half double crochet. And in the hand cam, I'll show you the crochet stitches are unlike knit stitches in that they get taller and taller as you move away from slip stitch, single crochet. Half double crochet is right between single crochet and double crochet. And I'll demonstrate it here. Let's go slow mo. First, I'm going to demonstrate working half double crochets into the foundation chain. It's always the hardest row because there isn't much fabric to hang on to. And your pattern will give you specifics on exactly how to work this. Um, a good rule of thumb is to work the half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. You don't count the loop that the hook is going through. So I'm going to count one, two, three, and put it into the third one. Again, your pattern might have you working into the second or into the fourth. Follow your pattern. I am going to work this into the top leg of the V. Yarn over once. And go into the fabric or go into that loop. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. And this is where it differs from double crochet because now we're going to grab the yarn and pull through all three. And that stitch is finished. Yarn over into the next uh, <clears throat> into the next chain. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Get a good grip for this part because. You grab the yarn and pull through all three. And half double crochet is one of those stitches that is a good test of your tension. Excuse me. <coughs> if your tension's really tight, uh, you're going to have a difficult time getting it through all three loops. Now I want to demonstrate working this in the fabric. And because crochet stitches are tall, we're going to chain up. When you're working a flat piece like this, or even in the round, you chain up to get to make your first stitch really. And a good rule of thumb with triple or half double crochet is to chain up two stitches. Again, your pattern might have you chaining up one or three. Just follow your pattern. A good rule of thumb is two. And if you'd like a link to uh, found or chaining, crochet chaining slow motion, I'll give you a link here. If you click the little I, I'll also put a link in the video description field below. Now I'll turn the work. Yarn over. And in this case, I'm going to go under both legs of the V. And your pattern might have you going through the front leg or the back leg, I'm going under both. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. And now get a good grip because you grab the yarn again and pull through all three. And you'll see my left hand pincher fingers, I really do have a good grip on that fabric to pull through all three and I still snagged on the last one there. Still snagged. 
if your yarn is going to split at all, <laughs> this is where this is where you'll see if your yarn is going to split. Yarn over. Into the fabric and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Good grip. Point your hook down to pull through all three. Yarn over and into the fabric. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn and pull through all one, two, three. And there we go. And that's it, half double crochet. I hope that helps, good luck.